And here to dive into those numbers just, and to tell us if any relief can be expected, Melissa Lee, host of CNBC's Fast Money. Melissa, good morning. So, I mean, peering into these numbers, like, the question is, as what the Fed does, have has any of the policy changes that have gone into effect done anything to ease inflation? If you look at those numbers, the answer would seem to be no. Policy can only do so much, Savannah, and there are components of inflation where Fed policy will not do anything. For instance, housing prices. Certain things are sticky. Housing prices are one of them. You sign a lease for a year, so you don't see things change. You don't see that price go lower right away, even if everything else in the world is going lower. The direction over the long term will be lower, but what the Fed is doing is not going to impact that. Also, companies are raising prices. Some prices are sticky. They just don't move as quickly as what's going on in the, in the macroeconomic you know, world. And so those prices will remain high. But the administration says, okay, that 9.1% figure obviously is stunning, but they say gas prices have fallen 40 mm -hmm. cents in the last month. That's true. Are, are these numbers in any way not reflecting this incremental progress that, say, the White House is pointing to? There is some progress, and that is the good news. We're seeing commodity costs come down. So, for instance, as Tom had mentioned, the average price of, of a gallon of gasoline has edged lower since the middle of June. Oil prices are at four-month lows. Um, commodities from wheat to corn to lumber, they've all come well off of their highs by double-digit percentages. But again, certain prices are sticky. It's going to take a while for consumers to see those declines in commodities flow through to those finished goods. We just heard from PepsiCo. You know Pepsi. They make Pepsi. They make Frito-Lays. They make Doritos. Doritos. Yeah. They just reported their quarterly results. They said that they were able to put on a 12 percent increase across their product portfolio on average, and consumers are willing to pay it. The bottom line, they're raising prices, and people are paying the higher prices. And, it, I mean, that to me is the irony of all of this, that they say in your, your business, higher prices cure higher prices. Right. So is it really about when consumers just say, you know, I'm not going to buy that anymore, or I can't buy that anymore? It is. That's when prices come down? It is. And you see that in the housing market. That's what the Fed is hoping to accomplish, for instance, in the housing market, which we talked about. If they raise interest rates, mortgage rates go higher. Consumers are priced out of the housing market. They don't buy that house. You, they're throwing a little bit of grit in the wheels of the economy, and they're hoping that will work to bring that demand down. At the same time, not wanting to put sludge in the economy and cause a recession. So Cause the, cause the wheels to stop entirely. Yes. That's, that's a delicate business. Yeah. Melissa, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.